No, I'm golden. No. Hello, Corvo. I expect Martin will be joining us shortly. I hate to start your day with such a strange matter, but the servants heard something last night, moving through the storm drains beneath the building. Most likely a weeper, the poor bastard. There's no hope for them once the plague gets that far along. Nothing more than a shuffling corpse full of sickness and insects, if you ask me. I'd appreciate you investigating, just to be sure it's not a nosy guardsman that's getting too close. Here's a key to the hatches. I'd send a servant down there, but they'd die of fear on the spot, I'm afraid. Maybe Piero can concoct some sort of sleep poison for your crossbow if you want to go that route. It is every citizen's duty to report freedom of speech and action. The state depends on you. You went down there in the sewers? I thought I heard a weeper in there earlier. You're probably the bravest man I've ever met. Overseer Martin has arrived. He's with Admiral Havelock now. They want to talk to you. Corvo. I trust you remember Martin, an overseer before and perhaps again someday soon. I owe you thanks for my rescue. Indeed. You've given us a glimmer of hope, Corvo. Because we've gotten what we wanted from Campbell's journey. You've done it. We know where Emily Caldwin is being held. The Golden Cat, of all places. A bathhouse for aristocrats. Little better than a cursed brothel. But there's an unfortunate twist. It appears that Pendleton's own kinsmen stand in our way. The twins, Morgan and Custis. Not only are they controlling Emily, but they have the controlling parliamentary votes we so desperately need. Yes, the Pendletons have to die. But most importantly, Emily must be brought here safely so we can protect her until the Lord Regent and his entourage have been dealt with. Pendleton's waiting for you on the dock. He's asked to brief you personally. I think it's best. Corvo, a moment. Corvo, I've asked to speak to you myself. You see, I'm sending you to kill my older brothers, Morgan and Custis. They're horrible men. It's true, as you may have heard, cruel beyond words. Further, my brothers are close allies to the Lord Regent, and as long as they are in Parliament, we cannot gather the votes we'll need to stop the Lord Regent from further consolidating his power. These days, they're best known for exploiting their favor with them to cheat others out of their wealth. Let's just say that not every family evicted in quarantine for having the plague actually has the plague. I warned my brothers in every way I could. I really did. But they never did listen to me. They'll be at the Golden Cat tonight at their usual revels. 
They'll be protected by the city watch, so it'll be dangerous. Now go. Please do it before I change my mind. I'll take you to the Golden Cat when you're ready. I've taken Lord Pendleton enough times, believe me. I'll get you as close as I can to the Golden Cat, Corvo. You'll have to go the rest of the way on your own. The entrance is near Holger Square. The main thing is to make sure that little girl, Emily, gets back all safe and sure. Them two Pendletons are there, so I'm guessing there'll be a lot of guards. Slackjaw might have some ideas on helping you get inside the cat, if he don't kill you. This here's his territory. He and his Bottle Street gang hole up at the old Dunwall Whiskey Factory. They sell the elixir that folks use to fight off the plague. I'll lay low, but keep an eye out for you and the little lady you bring him back. Good luck to you. I know Emily must mean a lot to you. Be careful going up the street, Corvo. The river hand I made. You're just the man I was looking for. Slackjaw's wanting to talk to you. What a mess, huh? Whole town's gone to trash. That him? Yeah, he's the one. Hey, we got a message for you from Slackjaw. He wants to talk at the distillery. My men were right. You do look like a man out for murder. Way I figure it, there ain't nobody worth killing round here except those two Pendletons over at the Golden Cat. I'm right, ain't I? See, slack your nose. Them boys are twins. Rich, mean, and weird. Worse than most of their ilk. They've been laying low there a while, not sure why. There's a lot of security at the Golden Cat tonight, though. Special guests and the like. But you're gonna walk in there, dressed like that, and kill the Pendleton brothers? Maybe I got a better way to take care of them, too. If you're doing something for me first, understand? Someone, I don't know who, is killing my men, taking my territory, stealing my goods. 
might be a fellow name of Galfani. I sent my best man to investigate, but he went missing and... Well, now I need someone to find what happened to him. Go to this Galvani's place. He lives nearby off Clavering Boulevard. You do that for me and I'll get your better way into the Golden Cat. What the fuck are you looking at? You saw like a lot of blood, really. Wish I saw. Not a big deal. Maybe you can go up later and take a look after the mother two are gone.
But what are you gonna put on your report? I'm gonna say we found one of Slackjaw's men inside, all dead and bloody, and that you are a stinking idiot. Hey, 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 wait a bit. What just occurred to me? How come it's always me who pays for this? What's this? Information from my missing guy. Let's have a listen. dead. Too bad. He was one of my best men. Still, you and me had a deal, and Slapjaw never goes back on a deal. Take this key. It ain't for the golden cat, no. This key's for the captain's chair. A hotel abandoned since the plague gutted this part of town. Take the stairs to the top. You can use the roof to get into the golden cat brothel. See that? Slapjaw keeps a bargain. Just as good as the men who run the city. Maybe a little better. You think about that. Now maybe we can help each other out again. I could get rid of the Pendletons for you, quiet-like and without killing them. But you gotta do something for me in return. The Cat's having a big reopening tonight. Lot of money clients. Including an arts dealer named of Bunting. He's got particular tastes, or so I've been told by some of the ladies. 
Got some pretty fancy stuff locked away at his place. And the only thing preventing me from nabbing all that loot is the combination to his safe. Of course, the Pendletons have been camped out there for months too, not sure why. So that means a lot of the City Watch and other soldier types. Bring me that combination, my mass friend, and then I take care of the Pendleton brothers. Just like that. You ain't never even gonna touch them. And I promise, I won't kill them, and no one will ever see them again. Now if that ain't a deal, Slackjaw don't know what is. Want to look at some of the things I've found? Good prices, I swear. that needs it. If the city comes oh, no. I need it for my little one so he won't get sick. Thank you. Thank you, sir. You saved me. How can I thank you? I have nothing. Wait. Take this. It's the backdoor service key to Bunting's house, the art dealer on the main street. I used to work for him, you know, before the plague. He's let all his servants go, but he's still there. Probably hoping he'll be able to sell something from that safe of his. I don't know what he has left, but it's all I have to offer you. Please take it. What? I can't thank you enough, stranger. He says to bring a bottle, I bring a bottle. He says to bring food, I bring food. Time of spiritual crisis, the 
overseers have initiated the Beast of Painted Kettle until a new High Overseer is chosen. Attention Dunwall citizens, a mandatory whale oil ration is now in effect. Non-compliance is a punishable offense. Why would anyone pay for that? <laughs> <sighs> Now Morgan's on the first floor. I need to get the men in position. The ivory room. All I can tell you is, it's very heavily soundproof. I'll leave the rest to your imagination. Custis is easier to manage. Some nights he just waits in the smoking room upstairs and talks. It's funny what people will pay for. girl again. The one I told you about. You realize you're at the Golden Cat, right? Yeah, but she's different. She really likes me. <laughs> Idiot. She likes your money, not you. You're just jealous. Shut up.
Pendletons are here. You're supposed to be on duty. You're supposed to be on guard. You'll get dismissed for sure. I can't believe it. Finally. I've been like this for 20 minutes. Your footsteps sound a little loud. Have you gained a little weight, Bunny? Not just like last time, understand? Slowly, and only trigger the shock at my command. Get it? And the safe word tonight will be retribution, let's say. You hear that, you stop. One shock out of line, and you are out of a job. Oh, 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 that's good. I deserve that one. Shall I tell you why? The Pendletons are here, right? I'll start with them. I've cheated them, robbed them of thousands. Oh, you're ruthless. Don't hold back. I'll tell you everything. The Pendletons' inheritance was worth hundreds of thousands at least. I told them it was junk. Retribution! Retribution! Oh, that was perfect. But it's all I can take for tonight. Call my servants. We're done. Ah! We're done, I said! Retribution! Now let me out! Ah! What the... Who is this? What do you want? The safe. Yes, of course. The combination is 696. Take anything you find. I think I felt my heart skip. sneak around, aren't you? They, they, they told me you were head chopped off in, in the prison, dead, like, like mother. That seems like a long time ago. But you're not dead. Now we can leave. I have a plan. I almost got away twice. There's a special door to come and go for special people, and I'll show you. And if anyone tries to stop us, you can fight them. It's this way. Did you hear what that little girl did? No. She's cute. Amy or Emily or something. She tried to escape. 
Somehow she found the VIP exit. Really? Yes, Prudence keeps it locked now, and she carries the only key. Why is she here anyway? Is she some niece of the Pendletons? No idea. They keep her hidden away. Unlock it so we can get away from this place. This place is on the river, so you must have come by boat. I'll wait for you. birds come to Granny. Granny won't hurt you. Have you seen it? The handsome one with the beautiful dark eyes. I want to tell him I'm doing my part. Yes, Granny Rags is doing her part. Tell him, won't you? If you see him. Attention, citizens of Dunwall. The Lord Regent has ordered strict whale oil rationing in this area. Failure to comply will result in immediate arrest. Brought me the numbers. I've been after this combination for months. If you ever need steady work, you come see me. Slackjaw knows a good man when he sees one. It's only natural that you'd be curious about what I intend to do with the Pendletons. See, the Pendletons got these rock mines. Have hundreds of souls working down there half a mile deep below ground. So I'm gonna shave their heads and cut out their tongues and put them in one of their own stinking mines. Then they're gonna see life from a different angle.
Are you both ready to go? Corvo, you must have worked wonders out there in the city tonight. I can't believe my old eyes. So you did the business, did you, Corvo? I'm not one to speak against my betters, mind you, but if anybody ever deserved their fate, it was those Pendletons. What business are you talking about? Oh, I, uh... Grown-up business, girl. I mean, your ladyship. Forgive me. It's okay. I heard a lot of grown-up business at the Golden Cat. Oh. I should concentrate on piloting this boat. Young Lady Emily, I'm Callista. I'll be caring for you and schooling you while you're with us. Pleased to meet you. As am I. Would you like to see your room in the tower? Can I see it? Yes, you may. You'll get to see it all. The entirety of the Hound Pits. Good. I think I'll like it here. I'll go with Callista, Corvo. I'll see you later. You do not fail to impress. Armed with a blade, you've changed the course of the city forever. And with the Pendleton twins gone, our own Lord Pendleton will assume their votes in Parliament. In one night, you've done more than most men do in a lifetime. I need to speak to you soon. But for now, Lord Pendleton requests your attention. Corvo, the Loyalist Conspiracy thanks you for your work. I don't know if I can. My own brothers. We never believed that you killed the Empress. It made much more sense that the Royal Spy Master, now the Lord Regent, was behind it, aided by some of his key allies. We spent a lot of money and exposed ourselves to great risk in getting you out of prison. But we did it because we believe that you're the one that can make the difference. Oh, and Havelock's looking for you. All right, my friend. Martin's devised our next move. There's a footnote in Campbell's journal that tells us the Lord Regent's mistress sat for a portrait with Sokolov, the painter and royal physician. He'll be able to give us her name. Sokolov lives on Caldwin's Bridge about half the time, out over the river. The catch is that I'm afraid you've got to head out right away while Sokolov is at his apartment on the bridge. Samuel can get you close to the bridge, but you'll have to find Sokolov. Bring him back here intact, and it'll enable us to make our next move. I can't believe what you've done so far. Escaping from Coleridge, taking down the High Overseer, recovering Emily. You make this old military man proud. That's it then. Ask me for any gear you need. 